I interviewed hundreds of people for study program applications and jobs. There are several minor mistakes that candidates can make, like they are so nervous that they forget to ask the questions they had in mind. Cut people some slack, no big deal. But there are some mistakes that can cost you the position. Here are my top five. My number one is talking too much or too little. Some people don't know what number of words is appropriate. I have people who told me their life story when I asked them about their day-to-day -day activities. Skipping the part that I wanted to hear about. When that happens, I'm tempted to skip the more complex questions. A person who is not able to focus on what matters is a risk for a project. The other extreme is the person who answers as if he or she has a work limit in his life. What were your responsibilities in your previous position? I design parts. How is your experience working in international teams? I work alone. Do you have the feeling that you either talk too much or too little? You don't know how much your counterpart expects you to talk? I have a practical tip. Try to talk in a duration of about one paragraph, just a handful of sentences. When you're done, ask this, would you like me to elaborate further? Now the interviewer can choose to direct your answer in a certain direction, We'll leave it at that. Next is bad mouthing previous employers. It's normal that people part ways when they have their differences. I fear that people who bad mouth their previous contacts may do the same in my work environment. It can affect harmony at a workplace and even do damage beyond that. There are ways to talk gracefully about incidents from the past. If you got fired or left your job under no good terms, say something like this. I didn't feel like I could develop myself in my previous position. There weren't suitable alternative options available in the company, so I decided to move on and pursue my career in another company. You can apply that to many cases and it's not a lie. If you're so full of anger and despair on your job, you'll have a hard time to focus on developing your career. Number three is not having done basic homework. When I work with students or employees, I expect them to finish certain tasks at a certain deadline. They expect the same from me. In a smooth workplace, you can rely on the simple fact that people keep their commitments. I expect that an interviewee knows what place and what position he or she applied for. That's basic homework. If I don't get that during the interview, chances are high that I won't get that on the job. Let's say you apply for a study program and ask, can you tell me what courses you offer? It will put the interviewers off. Course overviews and course catalogs are available publicly for all study programs. Ask something specific that isn't available on Online. Number four is being too silly. Interviewers will try to make the atmosphere as comfortable as possible. We say things like, it's normal that you're nervous, all candidates are, take your time, we're not in a hurry. Sometimes interviewees misinterpret that as an invitation to loosen up completely. Don't get me wrong, humor and cheerfulness are great, big plus. Show that as long as you stay professional. What I mean with silly is something like this. Oh, thanks for being so nice, guys. I was worried about the interview. I played Fortnite and got like two hours of sleep. Sometimes you lose track of time, right? Uh, my brother's still playing. We're big fans, J just like I'm a big fan of your program. Number five is being overconfident or unrealistic. I don't expect that candidates who apply for a study program like space engineering know exactly what they're getting into. That's why I assume some humbleness mixed with confidence that they can make a great career. I'm someone who supports big ideas and the entrepreneurial path. Now, during the interview, someone tells me that he wants to build his own rocket to Mars during his studies. I fear that this person is delusional and overconfident. I prefer when candidates honestly say, I don't know enough about the basics and the different fields I can get into. I will explore that in the first semesters and make my decision later. Those were my top five mistakes that I've seen in interviews. I wish you good luck for your next interview. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to StudyFox. See you soon.